We're in Phoenix, Arizona, looking at three one-of-a-kind kitchen renovations, each done for $40,000. Here we go. HGTV's Kristen Cunningham takes on the design choices. Wow, holy tile. Nice. Well, at least Kristen likes it. The big no-no is the floor. <gasps> Are you kidding me with this chick? And realtor Tanya Markial runs the neighborhood numbers. I feel like I'm in appliance row. That's a realtor's mentality. I absolutely disagree. Buyers are going to love this functionality. I like her right now. But only one will get the biggest bang for your buck. Not sure if I agree with that. Whatever. Nationally, a kitchen remodel will get you a 75% return on your investment. But in Phoenix, it's a little higher at 78%. Brian and Kathy Sachs created a kitchen remodel fund so they could transform their old-fashioned galley kitchen into a gorgeous modern hub of the home for their family. We live in the Windsor Square uh, historic neighborhood in central Phoenix. We're about five minutes from downtown Phoenix. Most of the homes in the neighborhood are ranches, and a lot of people have redone their homes, so you see a lot of renovation happening in this neighborhood. The inside of our house is more of a contemporary, sort of modern style, but it's not cold. It's welcoming. The kitchen before was just a mess. It was a narrow box that wasn't very inviting. Now the kitchen is just, it's night and day. It opens up the entire house. It's just really inviting. Every day I wake up and I thank myself for pushing us to do it. Yes, we thank her. <laughs> so the wall used to be here and there was just one opening here from the dining room to the kitchen. It's amazing how much more open the space is now. We're so happy with it. So the island is a focal point of the kitchen. It's a Caesar stone, it's super easy to take care of. It's very simplistic, very natural looking. One of my favorite parts of the kitchen is the fact that the microwave actually opens up as a guy, I don't know, I kind of like the little trinkets in the kitchen. So the cabinets were definitely an investment. It was about a third of our budget. We knew that we wanted to go with white. It's timeless, it's classic, yet it's modern. The tile uh, is, is really cool. I mean, it's recycled glass. We think it looks fantastic. If anybody disagrees, too bad. Yeah, but. really. I mean, we just, we love it. <laughs> That's the way to go. I think bottom line with the floor is that it's the style and the era of the home. So it's easy to take care of, and I think that it goes with the kitchen. I'm okay with it. The best part is we didn't spend money on it, so there you go. Yep. So we're just north of downtown Phoenix. Okay. We're in the Windsor Square Historical District. Wait, stop. <laughs> <laughs> this is the historical neighborhood? 1929 is history for Phoenix. Our house was built in 1947. Okay. So do you think in this house we'll see kind of old school with a modern twist? We'll see. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I love these floors, but oh. when we walked in, this is not the kitchen I thought would go with these floors. <gasps> Stop! The first thing that they're going to rip out are these floors. Shut up. Okay, I think that's a little dramatic. Well, I will say this. The floors do not work with the kitchen. I actually disagree with her. I love her. I think she's adorable, but I don't think that we went so modern that yeah, it makes the floors not make sense. Whatever. There was a wall here, and so this was a galley kitchen, okay. very small. So they did a great job in opening this room up. I'm warming up to her a little bit. <laughs> She's got it right now. I love this. Well, I'm, I'm partial because I owned these countertops <laughs> in my last house, so I love them. Ah, she loves the countertops. Nice. But what I really love is that they're not the spotty granite, which would have been so kind of icky and messy with these floors, and it picks up on those grout lines, which is not something I think the average homeowner would think to do, and I think that was really effective and really smart. Yep. It's my idea. Totally not your idea, and I will take credit for that one as well. Right. Can I just, real quick... <laughs> Am I supposed to sit here by myself? Oh, she's going to make fun of my chair! Right now. I love my chair. They've just lost. All this Space. real estate for this weirdo chair. Right. Like, I felt like that was my little designer moment coming up with that. I guess they didn't think so. Yeah, I guess not. No moment for you. <laughs> do a built-in bench and make all this cushions. Do a great little table here so at least this has right. a purpose. That's a good idea, actually. I like that. I'm a fan of this tile. Love the backsplash. Love the counters. Love all of this together. But? There's no but. No, I'm afraid no of the but. but now. There's no but. It's all good right there. All right. I just don't like it on top of this. 
Whatever. I'd, I'd like for them to get off of this floor thing at this point, though. It's kind of, it's gotten old at this point. Okay. White flag. You got it. <laughs> I mean, come on. Give up. Look at this. This is like, ooh. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> that's nice. That must have been a guy choice. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, that's my favorite part. <laughs> So you've got the sink, the stove, the refrigerator. I feel like I'm in appliance row. You are. This is awful. Other, the only other option would have been to move the plumbing, and that wouldn't have made sense. It's like Kitchen 101. If you're remodeling your kitchen, go on the internet for five <laughs> minutes, and it's going to talk about a work triangle. Right. And we don't have one. I just disagree heavily. The work triangle thing, what I read is that that's kind of 80s, and so now, the kitchen of, of today, it's... You can go outside the triangle to the extent that you need to, so I'm not sure if I agree with that. Oh, this is killing me. Buyers are going to hate this. Hi, would you like me to do your laundry while you have a glass of wine? Oh, I wow. knew they were going to rip on the laundry. I'm getting uncomfortable with all this criticism, though, I'll be honest. Yeah, this is, this is not cool at all. People yeah. like laundry rooms. It's something you do in private. It's not something you do with your company drinking You're wine. You're not supposed to air your dirty <laughs> not, laundry not when the dirty laundry. Here. So purely from a design standpoint, I think they did a lot of things right. Of course Yay! she did. We of course she does. How she's yeah. not feel that way? We, we know that we did a lot of things right. I'm afraid that the big no-no is the floor. Are you kidding me with this chick? God, we're gonna Let's lose. We're gonna lose. I don't like losing. I know we are totally gonna lose because of these uh, these floors.